hot as hell in this room. One day it's cold, the next one it's hot. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give an earful to the owner of this crappy room. You don't treat a future movie star this way. Good. That must be our Susan's room. Now I have to find a way to open that gate. The gate that she... It's closed. I knew that it was a good idea to bring them with me. Hmm, that ladder could be useful. A dumpster, the kind that has wheels on the bottom so that you can move it. There's a break here. The street is probably downhill a little, so if I unlock... Yes, I'll take one. This bar could be helpful. Let's try. Yes. Now's the time to earn my 30 bucks. I have to aim better. Good. This shot will work just fine. A photo of the stepdaughter necking with the first guy that promises to make her a star. This should be enough for Harvey Weber to get his lawyers involved, and it's definitely enough for me to get out of here. open the door and jump into the car, ignoring how the seats are getting soaked with my wet clothes. It's water. It'll dry sooner or later. I put the key in the ignition and start the engine. But something isn't working. The gas gauge is on E. The tank must be empty. Following a lead on a case and forgetting to fill up the tank. It's a rookie's mistake. Or maybe the mistake of someone who's simply starting to get sick of this life. I'll have to find another way to get out of here. Son? Do you have a telephone? Yeah, we had one. You mean you don't have one anymore? We do have the telephone, but it's just not working. I've been waiting for someone to come and fix it for weeks. Yeah, the technicians come every three months to make sure that the control panel is working, but after a few weeks, there's no more dial tone. So it's not the first time that it's broken? In the last few years, I've called the technician at least ten times, and every time he asks for more money. If this weren't a hotel, I'd get rid of it tomorrow. Where is the control panel? Oh, I don't have a clue. Must be somewhere outside the building, near the alley entrance. I don't have anything else to ask you. Well, if you need me, I'm here. There are some candies in this bowl. You shouldn't take those candies. They've been there for years. I'll take my chances. I've put worse in my stomach. I'll keep it with me. There's no way I'm eating it, since I'd like to avoid getting dysentery. The 
This must be the telephone control. Let's have a look. This is no breakdown. The cable was cut, and by the look of it, it definitely wasn't an accident. The only way to make the telephone work again is to reattach the wire. I can't think of anything. The candy that's better left in its aluminum wrapper. The guy at the hotel says it's really old. Yes, the candy wrapper should hold it together. Let's hope it works. Son, what else can I do for you? Your telephone should be working now. Do they also teach you how to repair telephones in your private detective training? No, just to find out when someone's trying to rip you off. I suggest you call another technician next time. And if you could call me a cab now, I'd be very grateful. Of course, son. A night spent under the rain makes even this grubby old cab seem welcoming. The driver is a quiet guy, unlike most drivers who, on a dollar trip, are happy to tell you the story of their life. The only thing he asked was where to. Essex Street was my only answer. Before going home, I have to return Greta's camera. I disappeared saying I'd get it back to her in a few days. It's been more than a week. The cab turns down Essex Street. Here we are. The trip costs me two bucks. A dollar fifty fare plus a fifty cent surcharge for the night rate. Night rate. I hate cab drivers. Good. Greta's place is still open. A sip of whiskey is just what I need to cap off today.